on patrol in the murder capital of the world. In the past seven years, the homicide rate in Honduras has more than doubled as drug traffickers and small gangs fight for territory. We're on our way to a checkpoint here in the capital, and there's mounting pressure on the police in Honduras to root out corruption and also to somehow bring down the murder rate, which is the highest in the world. Some 20 people are killed in Honduras every day. Honduras' security minister has said a thousand out of the total 14,500 police in the country are corrupt or have ties to drug gangs. The government has sacked several police chiefs and fired more than 170 officers. Even the police themselves say they must rebuild the broken trust. People have lost trust and are afraid of us. It's our job to put that right. A police spokesperson, though, says given Honduras's location, corruption is unavoidable. When you're caught between drug-producing and drug-consuming countries, there is a greater chance for police contamination. The police have always been corrupt, says Maria Luisa Borjas, a former head of internal affairs. She was fired for trying to bring down dirty cops long before the drug war reached its height. As long as the president and other leaders protect the corrupt police, nothing's going to change. People would rather see five gangsters in the street than five police. In addition to firing some police, the government has now sent the military into the street to try to stem the violence. It's a model that Mexico implemented five years ago. Since then, violence in Mexico has risen, and so have complaints of human rights abuses by security forces. The state could not protect Alfredo Landa Verde. Until recently, he headed an anti-narcotics office for the national government. He accused congressmen of being corrupt and was pushing to clean up the police. He and his wife were ambushed by gunmen on a motorcycle on December 7th. He died, but she said she'll continue his fight against impunity in Honduras. Every day there's more death. Violence is out of control. My husband was yesterday's news. Now he's not on the front page because there's been more killings. Each day's victims forgotten as new ones take their place, and no sign the killings will stop anytime soon.